What drug did you take once and thought, nope, never again? Meth. Did some once thinking it was coke. Spent two days strung out and horny as hell. Never again. It'll have you watching Pornhub for 30 hours straight. Heroin. Too good. Knew it'd get its claws in me if I did it a second time. My dad gave me a delauded he had left over from his hip surgery because I had a sore neck. I felt an almost overwhelming sense of euphoria. I knew I could never take another one. I didn't take it intentionally. It was added to my weed without my knowledge. Angel dust. I overdosed on that shit. Also screw anyone who adds shit without telling everyone. That fake weed stuff that was around a little while back. Thought I was going to die. So hot. My sister found me naked passed out in the bathroom with my face against the bottom of the toilet. This really bothered me. I'm not a germaphobe but rather germ aware. For me. Meth. I did it once under the presumption that it was cocaine. It was not. I had to go to the hospital. I mean, I probably didn't have to. But at the time, I had only smoked weed. I didn't know how to deal with the increased heart rate and paranoia. For my friend, Diphenhydramine aka Benadryl. He is a really hardcore tripper, and can handle inhuman amounts of psychedelic substances. But he said that the one drug he would never do again was Benadryl. He said that his experience had lots of spiders. Benadryl. Took around 7 to 800 milligrams like 25 or 30 pills a while ago to trip. Not a good recreational drug. It's like how people who don't do drugs imagine acid to be like. It actually vividly see things and people that weren't there. I'd see people come in the room I was in and sit next to me on the couch and I'd start having a conversation with them. Only to blink and have them disappear. It'd get up and start filling up a cup of water and bam I'd be back on the couch. Never having gotten up. I don't remember most of the night but my friends said I was just in a complete different world. They had some funny stories from it though apparently at one point I pulled my pants down and just said ants in my pants. The two thing I've taken from this thread is that salvia is the worst drug out there, and that realizing you want more of a drug is instantly the reason to never do it again. Salvia no doubt. I got some 60x from the flea market lady that sells pipes and such. Loaded a bong bowl. Took a big hit. And as I exhaled, gravity started pushing on me from sideways. It felt like the chair I was in was trying to become one with me. And as I scooted off the chair and onto the floor, it felt like detaching myself from it. Then, the lady on TV was yelling at me in some language I couldn't understand. And I'm all like, sorry, but I don't even know what a vrepanyansa is. Then I looked up and I knew I was a toy in some toddler's toy box. And I saw him recognize that something was different about me than his other toys and as he began ambling over towards me with his face all alight I thought, oh no, I don't want him to put me in his mouth. But before he could get to me his mom came and picked him up and carried him away. He started crying and reaching out in my direction and I felt so very guilty. Then I started to come out of it. And I just sat there for a minute wondering if he and the lady on the TV would forgive me some day. Salvia. I smoked it and instantly dropped the bowl. I thought I was in a reality where I was a giant Velcro pepperoni that was strapped onto a giant pizza and was trying to escape. I was actually just laying on the bed unable to get up. Which is good because later the entire wall of my third floor apartment opened up and I felt the urge to jump out. So I might have jumped out the window if I had been able to move. Good stuff replied in another comment but my experience with salvia was insane too when i did it i was convinced i was a grocery store and people were shopping inside of me it was the most important thing to stay completely still lest i shift and knock all the shelves down and kill everyone inside the problem was that i was laying on my arm in a weird twisted way and my friends were worried i was going to break it muscle relaxants Worst cramps I've ever had when the drug stops working, and you realize you have cramping muscles at the soles of your feet and between all your bones. I did LSD twice a couple years ago, 
The first time was awesome and the second time was also awesome but since then I just don't want to do it anymore. It's weird but I just don't. Even though I had very very positive experiences with it I just don't want to do it again. Ever again. I'm not sure why but it doesn't really bother me. If you're wondering I waited about two months or so to do my second trip. But dextromorphin is something I did one time and will never touch again. When I had in HS I was a bit of a fiend and I went to the Walmart to get cough syrup of the shelf Delsim Orange. I did it with three other friends and it f***ed all of us up. We couldn't walk right. Like it felt as if our legs were lagging behind our brain by a couple seconds. Eventually I threw up like four times. Don't remember if they did but I did. The euphoria was weak AF and the trip was really really weird. Xanax. Took a bar at a friend's house. All I remember was watching Game of Thrones at a friend's house then next thing I know I'm at my apt and it's a day later. Wasn't a bad experience for anything it was just alright and felt like a waste of time. Plenty of better drugs out there. Ambien. Woke up in my underwear on my neighbor's porch. My girlfriend was having trouble sleeping and her doctor gave her a prescription for Ambien. First couple of nights. No problem. Then I wake up one night and find her in the kitchen. All the burners on the stove turned on full. Semi-lucid. She said she wanted to make soup. I managed to get her back into bed. Two nights after that. I wake up to find her out in the garage. In the car, engine running, wearing just a pair of knickers. Said she needed to go to Albertsons because we didn't have peanut butter. She quit taking Ambien after that. Oxycontin. Shit was too relaxing and didn't last long. I had knee surgery and they gave it to me for the pain. I took it for a week and when I wasn't on it I really wanted more. After a week of it I never wanted to touch that shit again. Trazadone for sure. I was in the hospital to get my heart fixed up and was having a hard time falling asleep. To this day no one is sure exactly what happened. If I was given too much or just had a bad reaction or what. But I remember laying there and thinking something. Wasn't right. I got up and just kinda wandered around trying to find a nurse. I was freezing but pretty sweaty too and couldn't really see or hear so well. And you know that feeling when you bang your funny bone. My whole body felt like that. The weirdest part was I kept realizing oh man I'm in trouble and would start to panic but then a second later I'd sort of forget and feel so. Serene, I remember a nurse running towards me but she looked like she in slow motion. Like we were underwater kinda, and I knew I had something really important to tell her but couldn't remember what it was. All I could think was how beautiful everything was. How the light was catching her hair and her sneakers squeaking across the floor sounded like a symphony. I remember smiling at her and just kinda slumping against the wall and then everything went dark. I woke up hooked up to a bunch of monitors with a lot of worried faces standing around. My blood pressure had dropped down to nothing and if they hadn't found me when they did I probably would have died. Six tenths experience. It was very beautiful but they made me chug so much yellow Gatorade and to this day that stuff makes me gag. I probably would have died. Six tenths experience. The incongruity cracked me up here. Tetracycline. Turns out I'm allergic. For me it was coke. I'm a broke bitch so after spending 80 bucks for maybe an hour's worth of a high I very quickly learned why it's called blow. You can blow through it and all your cash in a few days tops. Glad I got off that shit quick. Would have ruined me. DPT. People have referred to it as evil DMT and that checks out. Imagine the psychedelic aspects of DMT but it lasts for hours and you feel like you're also on meth. Good luck sitting still for more than a millisecond. The visuals move at a million miles an hour and it's really hard to get any semblance of reality. Basically you feel like you're in a crank movie and it feels like it goes on forever. Not fun. Also did a PCP analog once and that was obviously terrible. Didn't do enough to totally flip out. I was mostly confused and disoriented and nothing seemed real. I love ketamine but this was different. Kinda similar to DPT it was much more speedy than I would have preferred and it left me feeling scared and hopeless. Easy for me to see how enough of that shit will make someone go totally bananas. Finally, meth. Did it once by accident someone told me it was MDMA and that come down. Good lord. Just thinking about it gives me flashbacks. I don't really do drugs other than weed anymore and that's probably for the best. Meth. I've taken prescription Adderall nearly my whole life and I wanted to test all these people who told me you're just taking prescription meth. 
to say the least I don't do either of them anymore. Topiramate Topamax, a drug used to treat migraines and seizure disorders. I started developing a couple of the less common side effects, including facial numbness, tingling, visual disturbances, and most concerning to me, aphasia. The scariest thing about the aphasia is that it can be permanent. Sorry, but I'll deal with the headaches which weren't even migraines. Just a stress phase one was going through and keep my words. Thanks there is a disturbing lack of mephedrone in this thread. Or maybe I'm the only idiot who got strung out on it. For the uninformed, mephedrone is better known as bath salts, good luck powder, etc. The people mentioning meth, imagine that multiplied by about 1000. I've used every drug imaginable intravenously, and good luck powder definitely takes the cake. Immediately after injection, it felt like there was a beehive in my brain. It was so loud I had to pull my car over and put my hands over my ears. The teeth clenching was so tight I cracked multiple teeth over a six-month binge. I didn't eat anyone's face, but my hallucinations were definitely out of control after a few days with no sleep. Celebrated eight years clean March 10th. F mephedrone. Heroin. It was just too good. Hell, for me I could probably say morphine IV while on a hospital bed. Yeah I might have had a pretty severe cut that was leaking blood like no tomorrow, but going from agonizing pain in hell to yeah it's okay I could die here happy if it had to be within a few minutes was just a messed up experience that I don't want to touch willingly ever.